no one could be bothered to enter the room. It is full, they said. It is full of the dead. For years, they warned all to stay far from the door with the X. But I was through being a passerby. Fuck the indecent living. Fuck the daily bastards. Fuck the rambling. I would rather spend my time with dead people. I walked to the door and bowed my head. I was only slightly surprised to see it open. I brought a single flashlight to find the faces so gossiped over, but there were none. My light found nothing but dust. I walked inside, barely noticing the door closing behind me like the softest of kisses. Incredible how these mounds of dust had terraformed the square room into an oasis of former bodies. I didn't think it would be so disturbing if I took off my shoes and socks and my skin touched theirs. How glorious. So many beating hearts in mine. Voices singing through me. It was beyond any honor beheld by any being before. How to give thanks. Give the dead another chance to move. I leapt into the dust. Hearing their laughter in my head, I dipped my hair into the bones. I covered my arms and legs, leaving only my eyes for me. And we began to dance. I clapped my hands together, watching the dead form tiny tornadoes. I slid into each corner and watched them fall from the ceiling. I cartwheeled and tumbled. I spun and shouted, allowing the ash to tickle my nose and tongue. The door swung open. I stopped mid-spin and found the horrid faces of the living. So many beating hearts in mine stopped at once. The dust fell from me, from every part of my skin, back down to the floor back into the mounds, as if I'd never been there before. Our time was up. What do you think you're doing? One woman screeched. It should have mattered. But I held strong the memory of their skin on my skin. I walked out of the room with the X on the door, 
faced the woman and sneezed. She pawed at her face at what she thought was moisture, but the dust settled quite nicely.